Well, Bernie, now that we're down here in the dino room, why don't you explain to us what we're going to do? David, you're really going to be excited about this because we're going to take a look at several different graphs from several different runs on this bike. Mm -hmm. We're going to be able to compare them to see which one has more horsepower. Hey, Jerry, take us through the runs. What we're going to do is we're going to run this bike on a dyno. The dyno is designed to measure torque and horsepower at the rear wheel. It does that by spinning a very large, heavy drum. That information is then sent to the computer. The computer was going to read in miles per hour and engine RPMs. It will take that information and calculate the torque and horsepower. So what we'll do is we'll make some runs on regular gasoline, and then we'll bring up the horsepower readings and see what it actually does. Then we'll add some David Lyle's ethanol fuels fuel treatment, and we'll make some more runs. And then we'll bring those runs up on the computer and compare the torque and horsepower readings between the two. Are we ready? Let's, let's do it. Let's, let's make go. some runs. Let's, let's right. find out what All it right. does. Jerry, now that you've finished your first dyno run, could you explain to me how you did this dyno run? Sure, Dave. What I did was I put the motorcycle in fourth gear and allowed the bike to idle down. When I reached about 20 miles an hour, I grabbed a handful of throttle, brought it up to redline. With that information stored in the computer, it has brought up a graph. Bernie, would you tell us about that graph? Yeah, Dave, this is an interesting run. You can see after 20 miles an hour, this thing immediately flattened out. You can tell that by the dip in this line. What you would feel on the motorcycle would be a hesitation. And then as he rolled the throttle on all the way up to 95 miles an hour, each one of the dips in this line represents a hesitation. Well, let's go ahead and add some David Lyle's ethanol fuel and make some more runs. Jerry, now that you've done your dyno runs using David Lyle's ethanol fuels, can you explain to me the feel of the bike? Was there a difference? Sure, Dave. I could tell right away. Throttle response was quicker. The bike seemed to be crisper on the dyno. What we've done is we've made another run. We've stored that information on the computer. Bernie, tell us about what we've got. It's very easy to see. The blue line is before and the red line is after. And as it rolled on through the power band, you can notice an increase in power all the way up to 95 miles an hour. This is just too great. Hey, Dave, let's go over to our water test tank and test some watercraft. 